I tend to be an optimistic person, but I also am a realist. I am confident that we have the technological solutions to solve the climate crisis. And I am confident that we can do this at the scale that we need to. I think we need to have all hands on deck. Travertine is working to take carbon dioxide out of the air and permanently store it in a way that will last for thousands of years. One of the key motivators of Travertine is taking one of the major waste products that humans make, which is sulfate waste, and trying to turn them back into something valuable to help promote this clean energy transition. We combine with base and carbon dioxide from the air to produce calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate minerals, which are permanently sequestering CO2 in a solid phase. This is our water electrolyzer, and um, this is where our process begins. So this is basically where we take a sulfate waste feed, and then uh, it gets converted into an acid and a base. So the acid is sulfuric acid that we're accumulating over here, and then um, the base actually is just coming back in this reactor and getting neutralized. The renewable energy transition is going to require that we extract massive quantities of critical elements. These include things like nickel and lithium, elements that we need for the batteries in our phones, the batteries in our cars. And, and the way that we do that now is not very environmentally sustainable. There are a number of recent reports that suggest we need to be removing billions of tons of carbon dioxide from the air every year. That scale is staggering, but we are already producing commodity products at that magnitude. The cement industry produces about 30 billion tons of concrete products every year. And so when we say we need to sequester 10 billion tons of CO2 every year to help avoid catastrophic climate change on this planet, but it's a realistic and possible number if there's sufficient investment in CDR. The idea for using electricity to create chemicals is more than a century old. The idea of producing acid and base electrolytically was developed in the early 20th century. At the same time, we've known about how the Earth sequesters CO2 for close to a century as well. So these are not new ideas, right? To be sitting at the cusp of a brand new industry at the beginning of perhaps the most massive transition in human history, away from fossil fuels to a fully electrified energy infrastructure is extremely exciting. The challenge is in the implementation and in the scaling.